All right, welcome back folks, it's Mike Necta. And in this video, we're going to be watching how I put together some stones for a client's request. All right, so Regina has a client looking for a large Asher cut center stone with trapezoids on the sides. The center stone has to be either 10, nine and a half, 10, or like 13, 14 carat. And then trapezoids have to be also step cut. See, these are trapezoids. These are a carat each. You need big size stones if you're gonna do a three stone ring with this big center stone. So I'm preparing a set here that are carat each. I'm gonna put the parcel paper away. Then I have another set. Actually, okay, so that's the bigger one. That's a two carat each. And here comes the set that's a carat each. I'm doing a voiceover right now. All right, so these are the ones that are a carat each. Open the parcel. I already checked that these match well as uh, a pair because the measurements are similar. The length, the width, the depth, and the other length. There's two lengths on a trapezoid. And also the color and clarity matches. So that's our other option. So on one side we have a carrot each, on the other side we have two carrots each. Get a rubber band. Okay, next, I have the information for each stone on those little white card looking things, envelope things. Next, next option. Here's another set here. these back and put this in the box these are step cut trapezoids there's also trapezoids that are brilliant cut but um, I don't think it'll look good with an Asher cut because an Asher okay so just to recap we have right now three options for side stones one that weighs a little bit over three carats altogether, one that weighs a little bit over four carats altogether, and another one that weighs a little bit over two carats altogether. So just these options here. Oh, first of all, I wanna say congratulations, you made it to the halfway point of this video. And now, let's get into the center stone options. Here's one, which is approximately 10 carats. Asher cut, take a look. Mm -hmm. Good, certified of course, nice and shiny. And um, so you're gonna have a choice of where you put it and how it's gonna look. Let me weigh this. This should be the nine and a half. Very good. 9.5 carats, as you can tell. I'm serious, the scale doesn't lie. Put that away like this. Watch this, watch this, see, it's magic. All you gotta do is, see, you missed it. Click that closed, next. And I have another one, let me find it. I'll put this away first. Let's see. Okay, this one weighs 10 carats. It's another Asher cut, 10 carats. I like to give clients options. I can do that, I'm capable. Not everyone can, especially with the large diamonds. That's my specialty. I collect a whole bunch of humongous diamonds because those are the types of clients that excite me, the ones that are looking for huge diamonds. Good. Anyway, there's also another one that I already passed over to Regina, a 13.7 car uh, 13 carat. And now Regina is going to be making some videos and sending them over to her client before the appointment. She was already here before, but we're just keeping her warm by sending her more videos to her phone because she was here a few days ago and now we're waiting for her to get in touch with her husband and come in on, on Friday. I think they're celebrating a 25 or 30 year anniversary. Anyway, so that's Regina recording. I wanted to show you beautiful side stones. Waiting for you on Friday to see you so we can go. more options. You're gonna like what you're looking at. 
and waiting for you for Friday to see you so we can go ahead and show you some options. Just wanted to kind of go over the center stone that we received. This is the one that you looked at and I have... Uh... Okay, that's one of the larger Asher cut diamonds. Putting that away. She's putting that away. And now we're... The, this is one of the 10 carat ones, either the nine and a half or the 10. The one that we just looked at before in the black box, that was a 13.7 carat ash. Let's see. Okay, we're just looking at Regina trying to get organized, trying to figure out what she wants to offer her client and what uh, different combinations we can set up. Because we have three sizes for the side stones, you could probably create three different looks. Obviously, when you use smaller side stones, you make your center stone look a lot larger. When you use larger side stones, you take up more space on the finger. And just the, the different proportions create different looking rings at the end of the day. And it's, at, it's up to the designer or the person customizing it to make that choice. Also VS1, E collar on the side stones and F collar in the center. All right, right now you have a nice view of what something might look like with uh, 1.5 on each side and a 10 carat center stone. You can take it. We're good? Yeah. 